As we head into the festive season, there will be plenty of Christmas movies watched, mulled wine consumed and fun light shows to visit. However, one key part of Christmas is the family activities that you can partake in, and one that is sure to bring people together is baking. Whether it's just Christmas cupcakes for the kids, or a full-on spread for the dinner table, there is plenty of cooking involved in the lead-up to the big day. Mary Berry has released the perfect baking activity for a family occasion, which is her gingerbread house recipe, an opportunity to get all ages involved in the kitchen. With frosting for the snowy roof, and boiled sweets to decorate the door and side panels, Terry's plenty of fun to be had with this recipe. Read on below to find out more on how to create your own winter wonderland with Mary Berry's gingerbread house recipe. Mary Berry's Winter Wonderland Gingerbread House Recipe Ingredients for the Gingerbread 375 grams unsalted butter 300 grams dark muscovado sugar 150 grams golden syrup 900 grams plain flour 1 tablespoon of bicarbonate of soda 2 tablespoons of ground ginger for the icing 3 free range egg whites 675 grams icing sugar sifted 3 teaspoons of lemon juice to decorate 15 yellow or orange boiled sweets 130 centimeters slash 12 inches square cake board 200 grams giant milk chocolate buttons 2 night light candles 6 cocktail sticks equipment you will need a piping bag with a medium plain and small nozzle and you will need to have a template of the gingerbread design of your choice there are plenty of choices available online Method Begin by preheating your oven to 200 C and melt the butter, sugar and syrup in a large pan. Sieve the flour, bicarbonate of soda and ground ginger together into a large bowl and make a well in the center. Pour in the melted butter mixture, stir it in and, when cool enough to handle, knead to a stiff dough. Divide this dough into five equal pieces and cut one of these pieces in half so you have six in total, for the same size, and two slightly smaller pieces. Roll each piece out on a sheet of greaseproof paper to a quarter inch thick, and using templates you found online, cut out sections for each part of the house. You should have a roof, front, back and two sides of the house. Slide these pieces onto three baking trays lined with baking parchment. Use a ruler and the rim of a cup to cut out arched windows on the front and sides of the house, and a star cutter will do the trick of cutting the shape into the front and back of the house, or improvise with your own tools. Using a knife, cut out the door on the front and back of the house and place the doors separately on the baking trays. Reroll the trimmings and use to cut out the chimney pieces, three Christmas trees and three triangles to use as supports to help the trees stand upright. Bake the gingerbread for between 7 to 8 minutes. Meanwhile place the boiled sweets in a pestle and mortar and crush to a rough sand texture. Remove the gingerbread from the oven and trim the windows if the dough has spread before sprinkling the crushed sweets into the windows. Return to the oven and continue to cook for 3 to 4 minutes, or until the sweets have melted and the gingerbread is firm. Remove this from the oven and leave to cool for a few minutes, then trim around the house again to get some clean and sharp edges, before leaving to cool completely. For the icing, Whisk the egg whites in a large bowl until frothy, and add in the icing sugar in a tablespoon at a time, stirring throughout. Stir in the lemon juice and beat this icing mixture until it is stiff and white, and stands up in peaks. Cover the surface with a damp cloth if not using immediately. If you are jumping straight in, then spoon a little of the icing into a piping bag fitted with a medium nozzle and pipe some icing on the back of the chocolate buttons, before sticking onto the roof in an overlapping fashion, to give off a tile effect. 
transfer some icing to another piping bag fitted with a small plain nozzle and pipe frames around the windows, doors and stars to decorate. Spoon 6 tablespoons of the icing over the cake board and using a knife, spread the icing to cover the board to create a base for the house to stick onto. Pipe some icing along the wall edges and join the house together on the iced cake board. Leave the icing to dry and harden for a minimum of 4 hours, but preferably overnight. Once dry, stick the two night lights inside the house before attaching the roof. Cut the pointed ends of the cocktail sticks into 1 cm pieces until you have 12 small, pointed pieces. Push the blunt end of the cocktail stick pieces into the sloping edges of the front and back of the house, leaving the pointed ends sticking out to act as peg supports to attach the roof. You should remove these toothpicks before eating, to prevent a choking hazard. Pipe icing between the cocktail sticks and fix the two roof panels onto the house. Pipe icing around the base and edges of the chimney and attach to the roof. To decorate, pipe some icing along the apex and edges of the roof to give off the look of snow and icicles. Cut the back door into three pieces to use as props to keep the trees upright. Then, decorate the Christmas trees with icing and fix them to the board with icing and the gingerbread props. Dust the roof with icing sugar and light the night lights using a candle lighter through the open back door. Do not leave the candles lit unattended, and it is best not to burn the candles inside the house for longer than 15 minutes or they may singe the inside of the roof and start to melt the chocolate buttons. Join the Daily Record WhatsApp community. Get the latest news sent straight to your messages by joining our WhatsApp community today. You will receive daily updates on breaking news as well as the top headlines across Scotland. No one will be able to see who is signed up and no one can send messages except the Daily Record team. All you have to do is click here if you're on mobile, select Join Community and you're in. If you're on a desktop, simply scan the QR code above with your phone and click Join Community. We also treat our community members to special offers, promotions, and adverts from us and our partners. If you don't like our community, you can check out any time you like. To leave our community click on the name at the top of your screen and choose Exit Group. If you're curious, you can read our privacy notice. Don't miss the latest news from around Scotland and beyond. Sign up to our daily newsletter.